Welcome back to our getting started with consumption analytics video series. In this episode, we will focus on reports. Consumption analytics integrates raw costs and usage data from public cloud services, for example, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, and HPE GreenLake services. For GreenLake, it leverages metering scripts deployed in your environment, whether on-prem or in a co-location center. These reports enable detailed insights into resource usage and cost trends, helping you fine-tune your infrastructure and manage expenses efficiently. Let's get started. Let's take a closer look at the key topics we will cover in this video to help FinOps and IT teams customize and generate insights from usage and cost data. In this session, we will dive into reporting features designed to streamline FinOps and IT workflows from leveraging pre-built templates for cost and performance tracking to customizing reports with additional metrics, charts, and filters. We will cover tools to analyze hybrid cloud spend and operational data effectively, advanced options like time interval analysis, pivoting and report linking enable granular insights across dimensions like services, regions or teams. We will also explore exporting and sharing capabilities to facilitate collaboration and drive strategic decision making. In the consumption analytics service manager, navigate to the reports section from the action drop down, select the create report options. Here you will find a variety of templates to choose from such as blank reports, cost by cloud provider and more. For this video, let's select the HPE GreenLake cost template as our starting point. This template provides a focused view of cost specific to your HPE GreenLake services environment making it easier to analyze and customize with insights. Let's proceed. In the HP GreenLake cost template, you will notice several built-in charts categorized by products, services, and cost. To demonstrate customization, let's edit the cost by day chart. Follow these steps, locate the cost by day chart, and quickly click on the pencil icon to edit it. In the metrics list box, select quantity instead of cost. Update the chart title to usage by day. This customization allows you to analyze usage trend based on quantity rather than cost, providing you a different perspective on your data. Now let's add a field to an existing report to enhance its insights. Click on the plus field button to add a new field. In the select field search box, type and select department. Under the row grouping list box, choose group rows to group data by department. In the column placement list box, select place at the beginning of group to position the new field at the start of each group. Finally, click the apply button to update the report. This addition organizes your report by department, making it easier to analyze cost or usage data across organizational units. Let's continue. After adding the department field, let's create a new chart to visualize the data. Click the plus chart button to add a new chart. In the chart type list box, select time series stacked bar chart. Under the matrix list box, choose cost as the data matrix. In the title text box, enter cost by department as the chart name. Click the apply button to finalize the chart. You will see the cost by department time series stacked bar chart added to the report screen, providing a clear visual breakdown of cost across departments over time. Let's move on. Next, let's adjust the time intervals and time period for your chart. Navigate to the time interval list box and select by month. 
you will notice that the cost by department time series chart automatically refreshes to display the monthly charges now under the time period list box select last quarter to pivot the chart based on the monthly data from the last quarter this will update the chart to reflect the cost breakdown by department for the most recent quarter grouped by month let's continue customizing now let's filter the reports based on specific departments so you can focus on the relevant data for your finops or it heads click on the filter button in the department list box select ease as the filter option in the select list box choose dev and sales department to filter the data click the apply filters button to apply the filter you will notice that the cost by department time series chart now only reflects data for the dev and sales departments providing you a more focused view for your stakeholders you now have a tailored report showing filter data ready to be shared with the relevant teams now let's reorder charts based on your preferences to improve the report's visual flow click the reorder chart button to enable chart reordering hover over the six dots icon on any of the charts in the report click and drag the charts to your desired position either to start or end of the report drop the chart in a place to rearrange the order this allows you to visually prioritize or organize the charts in the most logical sequence helping stakeholders focus on the most important data first finally to save your customized report click the save button give your report the name hp green lake cost click save to store your customized reports let's continue now that we have reordered our charts you will be written to the hp green lake cost report page let's explore some more useful tasks you can perform with the report under the action drop down select the copy option here you can choose the visibility of the report private the report will be visible only to you public the report will be accessible to all users in the workspace by setting the report to private or public you can easily share the report templates across users and teams enabling better collaboration and data sharing in a similar way you can share a report via a link here is how you do navigate to the action drop down and select the copy link option note you can only share the link for reports that are set to public visibility this allows you to easily share a direct link to the report with other team members enabling them to access the report without needing to navigate through the workspace to share reports offline in various formats follow these steps under the action drop down choose the export csv or xls option to download data for spreadsheet analysis for presentation ready documents select export pdf where you can customize layouts adjust chart sizes and expand tables for clarity these options are especially valuable for finops and it teams enabling offline analysis easy sharing and integration into presentations finally to configure report distribution via email go to the action drop down and select configure distributions add the email receipt customize the chat format size and time and edit the email subject and body for clarity you can also set a schedule to ensure reports are sent automatically to users on specific days this ensures timely delivery of insights to finops and it teams for streamlined decision making this concludes our consumption analytics report video we have covered key topics such as creating and customizing reports adding fields and charts filtering data exporting reports and setting up automated email distributions 
These capabilities empower FinOps and IT teams to optimize cloud cost and gain valuable insights into usage trends. Thank you for watching and we hope you now feel confident in using consumption analytics to manage and analyze your hybrid cloud cost and usage data. Stay tuned for our next series and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.